Hi Music Freaks and welcome to Matthias Bitwig Tutorials. Uh, today we're gonna talk about Clip Launcher stuff and I'm gonna show you how to use the next actions and the post recording actions. Also towards the end of the video I'm gonna show you a nice trick to spice up your clip launching skills. If it's your first time here welcome and uh, don't forget to hit subscribe and the bell so you don't miss anything. So what are the next actions? The next actions uh, is a function that allows you to get clips playing from themselves basically. So for every clip you can decide what's happening next and after how much time. There I set up uh, three clips for you here so I can show you how it works. So what we want to do first is uh, see how it's uh, working for one clip. First you have to set an amount of time so let's say one bar so it's going to be fast. And then you can choose, for example, play next. So what's going to happen is after one bar, it's going to go jump to the next clip. So now I play and you see, boom, it just jumped to the next clip. Now there is no no next action here, so it's going to keep on playing that one. If I want it to go to the next as well, then I have to clip to click on the clip and then go do the same thing, one and next and play, boom, it's blinking here, showing that it's awaiting a uh, next action and now it's playing on the third one. Now if I already know that I want the, the jump to happen on every clip the same way, I could of course shift select them, so they are all selected, we see launcher clips 3 and uh, then go back to zero and back to one otherwise not going to work now i know that all of three of them are uh having the 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 next action time uh, set to one then i go to the menu and play next and play next one and next one and now it it said play next, but there was no next. I mean, the next one was a, a slot with a, a stop button. Um, if I want this one to keep on playing, although it has a play next, then I could also as well remove the stop button. There was a right click here. And uh, let's see what's happening. Oh, it stops as well. There is no clip, so it goes to next. It's really, you know, play next, there is nothing, so I stop. Um, then you could as well have no uh, next action on this one and then it plays forever. Or if what you want is it goes back to the first one, then you could do as well. So after one bar, we want it to go to the first one. So first, second, third, and back to first and goes on and on and on. So we have play next, that's what we, what we saw, play previous, so it goes backwards, play first, that's what we just saw, play last, play random, play other. So play random and play other, the difference is in play random there is a possibility that it plays the same clip again. In play other, it's it's like random, uh, but it, it's not going to be playing the same clip again. Round robin is is just cycling between the clips, so it's basically uh, play first and keep on. Then you have the in block functions. So in block is let's see. Let me uh, copy those clips and have a gap in between. So we have two blocks here and then we have those functions uh, applying just for the blocks. First in the block, last in the block, random in block, play other in block and run robin in block. So you can have sections in your song and then the next actions are actually uh, happening in only in the blocks. You have this uh, return to arrangement which uh, which will switch to the arrangement view like just if you were uh, clicking here in this button so uh, let me try this for you 
I will put this clip here and then here return to arrangement after one bar so it did do the job pretty pretty good actually so you could have material here and material here and switching back and forth from one to the other that's pretty cool then there is another uh, type of uh, automations like this uh, and it's called post recording action and the post recording action is uh, kind of the same thing as the next action but it's just after you record it so post recording action play recorded after let's say one bar so it's gonna get fast so I'm gonna hit this knob here it's gonna start the recording and as I set up here after one bar it's gonna play what I recorded one two three four and I'm not playing anymore so it's pretty cool if you want to record live and and do some looping and stuff another mode would be record into the next free slot you can basically have recording in different slots and, and record different ideas and it's already cut bar wise and it's actually pretty cool so I'm gonna start here so I can record eight of them and let's go so I did them all and then yeah I have all my ideas already set in different clips that's pretty cool uh, then we have stop so after recording and one bar recording is going to stop after one bar re uh, recording is going to return to arrangement return to the last clip uh, or play random so basically most of the functions from the next actions but uh, after recording awesome so now let me show you another uh, way of using the next actions i'm gonna take a hip-hop loop from the row cut sampler uh, that comes with bitwig and put it in there uh, tempo 89 it's actually two bars so uh, what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna cut it so we have eight chunks of it i take eight because uh, i have a, a launch pad and i want to play this with the launch pad the idea is to have all of this, these eight chunks on eight different uh, slots and being able to jump from one to the other so we have the first one then I take from the second clip and take them all and bring them here then we are here and then I do exactly the same seven times and we're gonna have our setup so now we have the full clip here and every time one uh, one less so what we should do now is to shift select them so we have the eight clips selected and in the next actions we say after uh, after one beat that's the second number here we want the round robin stuff to happen and then I play So we have the full loop spread on eight clips. Now I'm gonna turn the other. Now I'm gonna turn the other video so you can see the the launch pad and the way it's played. Then so now you see we have the eight clips lined up. So I could just press the first one and it's gonna cycle through them. The one blinking is the next one. Um, and then I will have to set the launch quantization to some other value so I can glitch it up the smaller the value the more intricate stuff you can do 
but uh, the more difficult it is to keep in rhythm and not starting to to offset everything. So let me show you in eighth notes first. You have to shift select everything and then change the value. Otherwise, it's going to be just for one clip. And then let's go. Of course, if I wanted to go this kind of speed, da, 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 then I would have to go to the the 16 notes, and then oh, something is wrong here. Yeah, I didn't select everyone, so it's mixed here. Uh, 16 now. Everybody 16. Yeah. Now it's more fun. Let's put the metronome a bit louder and then you now already I'm not on the one. So let's stop everything, stop the, the clock here and then back. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. Ah, I miss here. You hear? So it's. It, you have to be really tight. Uh, it's possible to mess up. More importantly is, uh, I think it's to be able to hear when you messed up and then bring it back and use the mistake as uh, something interesting. And, and that's, I guess that's the way to go. Of course, better not to mess up at all. But uh, whatever happens, then it's better to chill and, uh, and take advantage of the situation. So that was the slicing in the launcher using a launch pad. So that's it. Now you know how to use uh, the next action and the post regarding actions. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, then don't forget to hit subscribe and uh, see you next time. Bye.